When you check your luggage, you present your bag to the ticket agent, take your boarding pass, they put a tag on it, and walk toward your gate. And away it goes. The long, winding journey has just begun for your bag. Two huge bags at limit. Behind that curtain is a hidden world of computers and conveyor belts tasked with getting every single bag from A to B. On average, Tampa International handles around 650,000 bags a month and up to 9 million a year. We take the bags from the airlines at the ticket level, bring them down here through an automated system to the TSA screening area where the TSA uh, and their equipment will screen the bags for uh, explosives. Oversized bags make their way to Edgar Vargas. If it gets stuck, jams, drops, you know, make sure that it gets to where it has to go to the different airlines. Though he handles thousands of items a day, for him, it's personal. Well, I look at it if it was family. You want to make sure that they have whatever they need for when they get there. After bags are TSA cleared, they're sent through a four-mile network of conveyor belts with 2,000 motors toward the airside terminal. There's about 70 servers that run this uh, baggage system. Any clogs in the system are bad news. This pink indicates that the baggage system has stopped in that location because of the jam. Crews have minutes to get things moving again. If we delay the departure of, a, of an aircraft for that day, then it's delayed seemingly for the whole day. They go into action and clear the jam reset the overload, keep the system running. With all systems go, bags arrive at the airside sort facilities. The baggage ID plays a big role in that. It's a 10-digit number. The first digit explains what type of tag that it is. The next three explains the airline code. And the remaining six is actually a serial number for this individual bag. Bags are then loaded one by one into the belly of the plane. It goes. Baggage fees have led to a decrease in bags moving through TIA, but for the airlines, it's big money. Last year, U.S. Airlines collected nearly $4.2 billion in fees, American bringing in the most at $1.1 billion, followed by Delta and United. Fee or no fee, that's no guarantee airlines won't occasionally misplace passengers' luggage. With the quantity of baggage that they're dealing with, uh, it's, it's bound to happen. The good news is the number of lost or delayed bags continues to drop. A recent report done by an airline technology company, CETA, found that less than six bags per 1,000 passengers was mishandled last year. That's down 12.5% from the year before. The bad news, if you're making a connection, the chances of your bag going MIA are much higher. The report found that 47% of mishandled bags were in the process of being transferred. We make a point not to lose bags here. Since Tampa International doesn't host as many connecting flights as airports like Atlanta or Miami, your check bags are more likely to meet you here. It never stresses me. I, I just assume it's there, and if it's not there, it'll get there eventually. And when it does... I guess the best word I would say is relief, and just know that you can kind of go on with your day now. So next time you tag your bag and watch it disappear under the curtain, you'll not only know its destination but also its journey. We try to make sure everything happens good over here. In Tampa, Haley Hines, Fox 13 News.